G'day guys, it's Paul here from Bright Lead Tech again. Today we're going to be showing the new rocker switches from Bright Lead Tech. This one's an on-off version and we also have a on-off-on version depending on what you're going to be wiring up. Today we're going to wire up the rear work lamps and we're going to replace the toggle switch and the dash. So let's have a look and see how we go about that. On most vehicles they have multiple pull-out panels for accessory switches. This one we've just popped out the complete panel. You can see there's got Two clips on the back here you can clip that out and there you go there's there's your hole ready for your switch if our switches don't fit this exact size hole you can obviously just you know file a little bit out to make it fit we also have the female um, holder for our switches as well if need be for the Hilux our switch is a little bit bigger than the hole in the back Fits nice in the front there, but in the back is a little bit tight. Width wise is good, height is good. So we're just going to trim out this small section here, then the switch, switch will fit in nice and snug. Okay, so we've, we've trimmed out a bit of the edge there to make it so our switch can fit nice and snug. That'll fit in there. Nice and tight, locked in place. Alright, so keep in mind, this one we want it to illuminate when the parkers come on and we want it to illuminate also when the light's switched on. So the pin on the top right here is our earth for when the park lights are on. So if we want the light to illuminate on the front, we'll put an earth on there. And we want it to illuminate the lights on the switch when the switch is actually turned on so we'll put an earth on here so in this instance we can join both these two together put that to the common earth pin down the bottom right hand side here we'll connect that to the park light feed we'll be able to pick that up from one of these other switches and then we'll put our power feed which is fused onto this terminal here and then the terminal here will go back to our relay which is going to run our lights all right so We've found a park light feed here off one of our other connections which were on the same group. As you can see, we'll turn our parkers on. We have power. So we can now tap off that one to connect onto our switch that we just fitted. And that'll give us illumination on our switch when we turn our park lights on. Remember to solder and tape all your joins. You don't want to be out in the bush and have something come loose on you especially not for your lights. So now that we've soldered and taped our join, we've put our female connector onto our switch. So all we have now is the two top terminals which we'll put to ground, and then we're done. We can see how she works. All right, so now we've done. We've connected both of our terminals at the top. We've found a ground just behind the dash. We've found a bolt in there and put it straight to the body. Now we can see how she operates. Alright, so let's see how she works. So we'll turn our park lights on. The letters will light up. Well, there we go. So we wired that one correctly. And now we'll turn the light switch on. And let's see the little work lamps are lighting up. So off. On. Off. Park lights on. Illuminates the letters, turn the switch on, illuminates the lights on there as well. So now let's see if the actual lights at the back are working. Right, so let's see how she went. It's on and off, on again and off, and back on. We've done a good job. So if you're needing any lights or a switch to suit, Bright LED Tech, we've got what you need.